Hello! Welcome! Daniel Handler time. God bless more Bay Pro! This is our goalie, Daniel Handler, me, making, playing for the mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Do you want to see what that gets us? He's currently, he's played two games, he's got a win and a loss, sitting with a 76 save percentage and 3.5 goals against average. We're two games, but on the plus side, he's in the top 10 for the Calder Memorial Trophy, somehow. But, uh, we'll worry about that towards the end of the year, I'd be very surprised if he won it. And now we're going to hopefully play this game against the St. Louis Blues. We're also off to a poor start. Uh, we've just found out Andrew Cogliano will be off the roster for an injury. No. That's a slight problem, potentially, but possibly. Let's just let's just get to the game. Play next game. Not starting in the game. Whatever. We're just going to keep saving until we find one. But anyway, yes. Welcome. And it was actually... So yes, episode two. In the last episode, we got Daniel his first two starts. He played spectacularly well, but the Ducks just uh, just couldn't get him those good stats that we're looking for. Not starting that game. How are the Sabres four and two, and the Ducks are two and four? And what universe is this a thing? Oh, two and five. Oh God, man, this is not going well. <laughs> Ducks are off to a bad start. What happened? Guess we're gonna have to fire Bruce Boudreau. Not not playing this one either. I'm not surprised. Although Frederick Anderson doesn't appear to be getting you much. Maybe you should throw Handler in again. Ooh, the Sharks. Ooh, got a game against my Dallas Stars coming up. I'd like to play that, but uh, probably won't let me. But anyway, no, not playing this one either. Next up is uh, against the Blackhawks. That's this would be throwing Daniel in the deep end. In his three games, he'll, he'll have played. No, he's not playing this one. That's fine. So the Blues again. Ducks off to an awful start, two and seven. Blackhawks only five and three. I'd have expected a bit better than that. Ryan Kessler. That's a problem. That's a rather big problem. Blues are a little over five hundred anyway. We're playing this game. All right, so here we go. It is the Anna, the mighty Ducks of Anaheim against the St. Louis Blues, who I believe have new jerseys. How are they reflected in-game? No, I don't believe they are. So that will... Yeah, because the... They have one of these jerseys. Oh, those are actually... That's quite nice, actually. But um, anyway, so they... Their new, their home, their new unis aren't in the game yet. It'll probably come later. So for the moment, we'll go with this. Uh, yeah, I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave everything alone. Here we go. So yes, no viewers. It's pretty much what I was expecting. <laughs> I very rarely get many, except for that one stream where I had like 17 people watching. It was all like. Good gravy! There's people watching! But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Don't matter, I was gonna play this anyway, why not stream it? Why not? It's the weekend! For me, at least. Everyone else is in on Friday, not me. It's another wonderful night for hockey, and we fully expect to see wonderful hockey. Because this is St. Louis, and it's another home game for the Blues. Yes, yeah, so they'll be stopped by Daniel Handler this time. They've never seen a goalie of this man. Oh, we're three and seven now. Yes. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your star players only play a third of the time. Do they ever make a contribution? Though? Well, you need them, Doc, to make those big contributions. Star before. players are real important cog to the success of your team because if you don't have a lot of them, you're not going to have much success. I like those new. Yeah. Is what makes him a special player. He's six him points already. This game. Six points in ten games. It's okay, pretty good. So let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Not a terrific Elliot's start for Elliot. Tonight he is always acrobatic. We can expect more of that tonight for the Blues. Oh, he doesn't get. He, he's another name. <laughs> this man's the netminder of the evening. He is the type of goalie that sees the puck very well, hoping to see and stop most of the shots he sees tonight and land the W for the visitors. 
You got this, Daniel. Your team gives you any defensive we help. Anyway, so the last time saw us rock the, the uh, Mighty Ducks jerseys. This time we're going with the uh, their current jerseys, although these are still the Mighty Ducks. And a great save to start the game. These are still the Mighty Ducks. Don't get a... Uh, uh, yeah, don't, don't get confused by this propaganda now. This is still the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. And uh, we're all hoping to be get, getting them another win. And Handler's second win on the year. Good play, Fowler. Good play. Whoever that is. That's like see. That was awful. But no matter, Handler's here. Ooh. God's sake. Almost. Anyway, how you got a cross? That's fine. Let's go. We got a win in us. Go, Heatley. Your rubbishness knows no bounds, does it? Anyway. Looks like Harris is going to be a tough game. At least Handler makes the save again. God's sake, this kid. He's just too good. He's just too talented. Where did the Ducks pick? They picked like, mm, I want to say 11th or so. How did 10 other teams pass on this kid? Huh? Just how? How is this possible? He had a stellar career for whichever major junior team he was playing on. <laughs> it was between zero and all of them, so that narrows it down a tad. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good at all. And there we go. <coughs> That's what the stream needed me coughing. That was a Oh, this time there's not an echo. I was watching the last one back, and I think I just had my TV volume on too loud, and the mic was picking up my TV as well as uh, just the game. So, flawless save again. But uh, Handler's off to a really good start anyway. So I turned it down. Far from, far from a whiz with electronics or anything, so I don't really know how to fix that. So, hopefully this will do. Good save, but nobody in front of Ned was an easy one. Just under seven minutes played here in the really like these new away uniforms or jerseys. Getting to the American thing now, I'm thinking uniforms. Jerseys, man, come on. Stay true to your European heritage. Go, Bolesky. Come on in front, front. Yes! Yes! Emerson Needham! The Mighty Ducks take the lead! You could see it unfolding. Bolesky and Vatanen with the assists. Great pass. Nothing Elliot can do about that. He went for the poke check and missed, so there you go. So, uh... One to nothing. I did not mean to change any of that, but whatever. And Handler has been off to a really good start. He's like four saves or so. I like this start. But anyway, if anyone does ever end up, uh, ooh, good save, Ellie. Anyone does end up watching this, I'm like back on YouTube, or maybe they do join me here on Twitch. Feel free to uh, power play ducks. Excellent. Feel free to uh, leave a comment or get in on the interactions here. Tell me how much I suck at this game. Or, you know. Uh, or how much an Irishman should not be playing hockey? That's blasphemous. But um, oh, Shattenkirk, sweet. They lose one of their better defensemen as well. Getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Stay out of the penalty box when you're playing this team. Do not want to get the dumb Shattenkirk. All right, so we're going to do a bit of puck handling here. And this time we're not going to we're not going to uh, concede a delay of game penalty. Superb puck handling there from Daniel Handler. The man, the myth, the legend that is Daniel Handler, number 34. Mighty Ducks! Anyway, pretty mighty so far. Up one to nothing, midway through the first. Over nine minutes have been skated here in the first period. Anaheim's got the lead, one nothing. Yes, they do, Doc. Yes, they do. There'll be two here. Ooh, good save. Ooh, that's dangerous. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Did I not go in? Handler would have scored. Come on now. 
I don't understand why I have to be the one who, although I, I suppose Corey Perry did fight of his own accord in the first game, so. But I don't understand why I have the option to accept the fight. I'm, I'm playing as a goalie, I'm not playing as the entire team. Although goalie mode is technically turned off. <laughs> Which I think is rather funny, but uh, anyway. No matter. The Blues with a face -off win. By the way, uh, today is the uh, Scottish it's referendum for independence. Go Scotland. Yes! A goal on the power play. I think uh, Danny Heatley wants Scottish independence too. But anyway, yes, yeah, so if any Scottish people are watching... I mean, I know you're not. The thing's a zero, but uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Good luck with that anyway. <laughs> Quick Seems Heatley is on board. Yeah, uh, Elliot can get back in time. Two to nothing. Supposedly for a power play unit that's been pretty good. Sheeds the weapon. I'd be careful if I were you, Danny. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we're up two to nothing now, midway through the first. The Blues win that neutral zone face -off. So this, this is this is a good start now. Big hit, but uh, oh, he's down. He's down, but uh, he's, is he hurt? <laughs> Alright, come on, Daniel. And the big save by Daniel Handler again. Too good, too talented. The man from San Francisco, California. Should, oh, that was close. Couldn't pick it up. Should maybe pick a, a pick a, like a college or a major junior team or something for him. We need he needs he needs a backstory on which this game just won't provide. Any suggestions? Let me know. <laughs> I'm trying desperately to get people in on this. Come on, Daniel. He saved it. Ah. Gone across to to cover the net if necessary, but some good D rendered it useless. I play yes, Danny Heatley. What a game he's having! Already goal and an assist. We're up three to nothing in this period now. Great play, Heatley. Look at that gets through. Yeah, he did. I oh, no, it's just on. Elliot just just a split second too late getting over there. Nice play by Getzlav and great play from Danny Heatley, earning his top line spot. Alright, come on, we got this. Off the post, but Handler had it covered. Ooh, what was that? What a interference, ah, oh, balls. <laughs> I'd like to know what for, because like, that looked as if it was pretty near the puck, so... I don't know. Is that interference? It looks like he's playing him to stop him receiving the puck. I mean, I've seen that before and they haven't called it. I don't know if I call that interference, but that oh, doesn't matter. Daniel Handler can. Uh, he, he got. He got this. <laughs> Although I think uh, he's faced four power plays and the opponents have scored four times, but uh, not his fault. Perfect save. There you go. Handler is having himself a good period so far. The save again. He's just too good. I'm gonna need a highlight package soon. He's been too good. I <laughs> can't skate off. I love that invisible wall. He just skates back. He's like, what do I do? <laughs> Reflexes with the glove hand. They just don't know what to do. They're just not used to seeing a goalie who catches right-handed. But uh, Daniel's different. <laughs> not too many right-handed goalies in the league, or as far as catching goes, not actually right-handed. But uh, that's that's not good. <laughs> what a tremendous bit of anticipation there. Play can... He got over there. A terrific save. 
from Daniel Handler, the 18-year-old Phenom, keeping the Ducks up three. But D, get rid of it. <laughs> I'll just mess around and get rid of it. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, nice job. Get rid of it. Oh, no. Oh, yes. There we go. Killed off the penalty successfully. That's what I think. Damn. <laughs> but Handler. Hell yeah. Boss must be shaking his head at that mess in front of him. Defensive zone turnover forces him into another stop. I was like, what? Oh, <laughs> Boss must be shaking his head. I was like, who the hell's Boss? I was like, oh, that's right. That's the name I've given him for the play-by-play -play because it's better than nothing. But they don't have Daniel in the game. There are players in this league called Daniel, Dan, and Danny, yet none of those three names are available for as play-by-play -play options. I ask you, why? <laughs> also, Brian isn't available either for some reason. That's a, that's a different thing. So yeah, I had to go with Boss, because I was sort of the only one that's not really a name, but I can sort of pass off as a nickname. Damn! Almost a shutout period, but... I keep going over too much on those plays from the post, I should just leave it, but... Ah, well. Reeves, great save again. Yeah. Not actually that bad, though, so... Yeah, what I think, what I sort of need to do, what, I, what seems to happen is if once he doesn't hug the post, he automatically goes to the center of the net, so I really need to learn to just not move over to, like, the left or right and just sort of stay still. That's probably my bet. That's probably Daniels, third person. Best hope of saving these, but still. Can't really uh, complain about his first period performance, although the, the shutout is gone, but that wasn't likely to happen anyway. But uh, up three to one to end the first against the Blues. This is a, this is good. <laughs> Loving the hat, sir. We're gonna see uh, any of. No, no. The replay packages are interesting. It's just like there's been four goals in the period. We're gonna show one. <laughs> anyway, what are the shot totals so far? Twelve shots, so. Not be that. Adler had himself a period. Wonder when the uh, new uh, Blues Unis will be make the game. I suppose they just revealed them too late for inclusion, so there'll be uh, that a uh, code they usually do in like November or something. I'll probably have them all in and say. But uh, for the moment, we'll just have to uh, stick with their old, their old jerseys. But no matter. Daniel Handler doesn't care. He'll beat them no matter what they're wearing. Oh, that was lucky, because <laughs> Handler was not getting over there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Didn't even get there. Too scared of Handler. Puck does not want to reach him. Get rid of it, get rid of it. I'm not comfortable with this. Damn it all. No, Handler, save us. Ooh. Although I think he would have had it there. Alright, there we go. Alright, got rid of it. Okay, good. I'm amazed I didn't get a shot on that sequence at all. Ah, Corey. Weak backhand. Ah, nothing. Good block. Defense is picking up since the first game. Oh, come on, Danny, you're having a really good game. Didn't think I'd be saying that, but hey, it's happening. Good save, Brian Elliott. Keeping it close. Oh, come on. Handler hasn't had to make a save yet. Is that not a, that not a penalty? No? No. <laughs> yes! 4-1! Might have to bump up the difficulties. This will be the second game in a row where we've had a pretty sizable lead. 
Paul Murray. Paul Murray's stick was in a ready position and he one time to pass the goalie. Elliot's been shaking his head since this puck went in. He stopped about 90% of it. It's not enough. I didn't no, it isn't I didn't even realize he got anything on that. But uh four to one. Back in the ascendancy with a three goal lead. Anaheim's happy. Do his dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Win the game for the Ducks. Nah, nah. Win the game for the Ducks. Dan, dan. All right, here we go. Bring it. Bring it. You can't bring it. <laughs> the Ducks are being mighty this game. How's that not offside? The Ducks are mighty. Good save. Elliot needed 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 to save. <laughs> Stats aren't good for this game. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. Palmieri's got a real heavy release. When he gets to the open spot and the puck's delivered, he can one time it very very quickly. Yes, he can. <laughs> we can also hit the hit the guy, which he didn't really sort of. This is the goal, I'm assuming. Oh, he did get a most of that. Unlucky Brian. No matter. Mighty Ducks still with a mighty lead of three mighty goals. Everything is mighty. Oh, that was close. Good save. So yes, everything's bigger in Texas. Everything is mighty in Anaheim. It's so mighty, it's not even the state of California. It's just Anaheim. And Handler gets stopped by the invisible wall again. <laughs> Why have that animation in there if you're not going to allow them to go further than that point? Damn it, good save. Although we've got a pretty big... Uh, should I go for that? Should I? No, I'm not going to go for that. He can start some danger here. Oh, that was dangerous. Alright, there. All right, so that, I have to go back onside. Bring it. I'm scared of Handler, aren't you? Oh, this is not a <laughs> good play. Well, I still might get this, though. Ooh, alright. We're good. Go! Go, Palmieri! Oh! In off his own player! And it is 5 to 1. I think I'm going to bump up the difficulty after this game. It is 5 to 1. Elliot's unsure as well. I mean, the puck just kind of leaks through him. Odd goal. That's not Elliot's fault. That's what happens when you play your. Like, what were you thinking? Reeves. Who's going to get this goal? I'm assuming. Mary. Although Silverberg is the one celebrating, maybe he gets it. I don't remember him touching the puck. Yeah, it's Silverberg. I don't know how. I didn't see him touch the puck, but I'm not gonna get point anyway. But, uh... Oh wow! Six to one. Yeah, this is this is a this is a route now. We're just over halfway through the game too. He's able to get himself in position to one time that puck to the back of the net. Elliot's beat low on the One thing I've noticed in NHL so far is that goals seem to be scored by the boatloads. I'm in my other be a pro. I've tried editing the settings to sort of bring that down. But uh I don't know if that'll work, but yeah. St. Louis goaltending change. Six to one. Making the goalie change. Who's our backup? Jake Allen, I would assume. Just a rotten night in goal. Back up in there. 10. Well, that's the second game in a row they changed the goalie. Backstrom didn't last the whole game. But anyway, good hit. This could be seven right here. Good save. I'm assuming that Dick Allen will find out in a minute. Yeah, I'm not accepting that fight. You must be joking. Can't see the name on the back of your jersey shirt, sir. Anyway, no matter. Handler had himself a really good first period. Doesn't really have to. Doesn't have to make a save in this period so far. Might have to make one now. Nope, my mistake. <laughs> my mistake. Good hit. 
Goku would save Jake Allen, presumably. <laughs> what do you have, a blues or something? <laughs> I don't know what to do in this game. Right. Ooh. <laughs> Quick shot off in the we have to make the path. Anyway. Nothing for Handler again. Wait, what? Oh, delay penalty. I was like, wondering what the frick is happening. Score, of course. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, this is ridiculous. The goaltender was so worried about the passer, he forgot about the goal score. Like Miss Pocek again. <laughs> it is Alan, by the way. It was right. That's good. But uh, yeah, I don't want to turn up the difficulty after this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> At least Daniel Handler is heading towards his uh, second career victory. After only playing three games, I'm going to be tied to victories with Frederick Anderson. Isn't that delightful? Where is the Bears? We make it eight before the end of the period. Probably. No, not that go. I'm surprised there are still fans here. <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Come on. You got nothing. <laughs> you got nothing! Gonna get stopped again, is he? We'll find out in a sec. No, he made it all the way to the glass that time. Damn right, Ray. Daniel's just too good. The bout. Because I couldn't find Daniel in the play-by-play. -play. He's just too good. The Ducks with not, not that the, uh, the Blue, Blues had a really good start to the game. They had like five shots in a row. With no, duck, with no pressure from the Mighty Ducks at all. And the Ducks turned up the Mighty. And the Blues haven't really had a look in since. I'm hard to believe that this Ducks team is only 3-7 and seven on the year. But whatever. Don't matter. Going to get Handler's second career W. Yeah, I hope I'm plenty of time to make that save. Plenty of time. Anyway, let's go, Daniel. Do your, do, your do a little dance. Get save a little shot. Get down tonight. Bam, bam, get down tonight. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, no, not another one. Sort of aiming for some realism here, and this is definitely not it. And the save again. Perhaps could have gone out a bit more. <laughs> Made that easier, but... Handler, I believe, has let in one on, I believe, 14 shots, so the save percentage is trending in the right direction. Fifteen? There you go. Allen's had days when he's been spectacular, but this is not one of those. An he's only faced like three shots, Doc. Come on. <laughs> You're right, he has had days when he's spectacular, and he'll have more of those days, but... Uh, he's only faced... He hasn't only faced a handful of shots himself. Anyway, no matter. One period left. Going to, uh, this period, but not letting in a goal. That's what we're going to do, Daniel. Because the, the W is sewn up. The, duck, the Mighty Ducks are winning this game. Mightily. So the object of the game is now just to make sure the Blues only have one on the scoreboard. The Blues are just trying to damage limitation now. Anyway. Come on, Oshie. You got nothing. The save again! Daniel Handler. He can't be beat. He just can't be beat. He's just unbeatable. It's just not happening. The beating of him is not happening in this game. Please. Handler's favorite meal. Most important meal of the day. Whatever that was. Anyway. Nice face off work. Uh oh. Good. Good defense. Now let's go. Don't need another goal. Just uh, just keep the puck in there and. And for the love of God, don't get a power play. <laughs> I have the I have the penalty scaling set to quite high. So. Good save again. Oh, that was a weird sort of turnaround way of doing that shot, but whatever. Handler had to make the save, and he did. 
Eight Lee's had himself a well, he had himself a really good first period. Hasn't been seen much since. That's a lie, actually. He might have he might have a, a, another assist after that, but it doesn't matter. He's had a good game. Is my point. You got nothing. You got nothing. Handler again. He's just too good. He's been dominant in this game. <laughs> the hell was that? And they turned it right back over. Good block. They should have been doing that earlier, but anyway. Here come the Blues again. Just him, though. Oh, terrific save! Dead on! Phew! <laughs> Sorry for the sort of periods when I'm a bit silent, but it's sort of, uh... Plays like that are just really nerve-wracking. <laughs> anyway, turnover. Good save, Allen. And he covers it up. And plays it. A bit surprised about that. Anyway. No matter. Alright, come on. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Great save, Daniel Handler! I didn't even see him make a save, but he must have. He's the best. And the stats just keep going up, although if he lets him with the goal, he's screwed. Alright, dumped in. Oh, did it? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm assuming that will go outside the zone. It was a good save, wasn't it? It was a really good save. Boom! Down low to stop that. After a shaky... Oh, it's in our zone for some reason. They dumped it in. Why is it in our zone? It's not fair. Solid clean win. That's giving them pos potential possession of the book in our zone for no reason. Anyway. Shaky first game for the handle man. But, uh... The two really good games now. He's gonna get rewarded as well with two wins. I can't believe he played that. I'm gonna try again. I mean, why? They're so intimidated that their passes aren't even on point anymore. They just don't know what to do. Yeah, that was that. That's offside. Silverberg's had times over the last few games where he's been really quiet, but he's always found a way to get on the score sheet. He's done it again tonight. He is such a dynamic player. He doesn't need many chances. He's such a dynamic player. I hate that word. It just means moving. Anyway. Uh oh. Come on, get rid of it. Don't do this to me. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was nearly turnover. Oh, it's sake. Right. Jesus Christ. Just get the fuck out of the zone. <laughs> Don't pass it back here. I'm gonna give Handler a heart attack. Anyway. Healy again. He's got, he does have two assists. That's three points for Danny Heatley. Alright. Here we go again. Rubbish pass. Big hit. They still have the puck though, somehow. Alright, so we got, we got it back anyway. So, uh... Yes. This is all going according to the plan. The ultimate plan of mightiness. Of mighty winning. Should have had a shot there. Get the puck on net, please. Alright, here we go. Blues once again think they have a chance, so uh, let's, see what, let's see what they can do. That was such a terrific save, but I think that was uh, deflected into the air. But, uh, Handler, strong again. Yeah. I don't know, it wasn't, it was just... Yeah, it was deflected, but still a good save. <laughs> deflected right in front. Boss Handler was calm. Damn straight. Board. Oh, oh, you were you were in on the you were in on alone. What? Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, turnover, terrific. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Anyway. So yeah, so at least we're sort of getting some uh, last minute. We're getting some uh, some comments about Daniel Handler now. So whenever you hear boss, that's what they're talking about it. 
sort of explained it earlier. Believe me, I wish it was different. I didn't expect him to have Handler in the game. Good save. But I really expected him to have Daniel or Dan or Danny or some form of it. No. No, so we'll have to see. We'll have to deal with boss. But he is a boss. That's fine. He's in the middle of everything offensively for them. His team can't win anything if he can't contribute. Well, Just Handler's last, contributing. That's all that matters. Get rid of the puck. Because we're... Right near the line. Can he keep it going? Oh, Are you just trying to screw Daniel over now? <laughs> he won't let you, he's too good. But <laughs> I'm going to remember this in the locker room later. No penalty, it's 8-1. to one. Jesus Christ. Just in case there was any shred of doubt. But, uh, yeah. Oh, what? The Heatley didn't get in on this. <laughs> he did not have a lot of time. He got it to the goal scorer and he put it in. Able to clear open ice and yeah, I'm going to mess around with some settings and just sort of see what I can do, because this is uh, too many goals. Too, just, just too many, <laughs> so... Like, 8-1, to one, Perry has two goals in this game. Getzlav has like a goal and two assists. Healy has a goal and two assists. The top line has played tremendously. <laughs> What a, what a save! Right in front! Daniel Handler! No! Damn it! Oh, only three seconds left again. He's in good position too. Ah, oh, That's two games in a row now, a late goal. You get this close to the goaltender to puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. Oh, that was deflected as well, it hit something. Oh, God. Ah, well. It's still gonna be a good save percentage, it's gonna be 90-something. But, oh, man, that was... We're literally four seconds away from... Just helping his stats so much. Anyway. There's the win anyway. 8-2. to two. Still a really good game statistically for Handler, but it could have been better. So there's the win. <laughs> Although we've known that really since the end of the first, so... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the difficulty, and I'm sort of going to alter some of the settings as well to make their shots a little bit less accurate, because... Uh, Oh, that's a killer. He had it as well. If he, if he if he just sort of sits there in the butterfly, he that's makes that save. But... Ah, well. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying, Good evening, everyone. Anyway, 8-2. to two. <laughs> Ridiculous. But anyway. Two goals let in, so 22 saves and 24 shots. So that's still a pretty good night. But, oh, that last one... Oh, it's a killer. <laughs> it'll bump his save percentage up anyway, which is something. His goals against average will go down slightly. It'll be, uh... 5, 2, 2, 9, so about... Was it... Divided by 3, so it'll be about 3 now. Save percentage is up to 83, so we're getting, we're getting there. So, uh, settings. All st uh, superstar, I mean. And we're gonna... Edit some of the shooting here. I'm essentially just going to put all these down because I don't want that many goals being scored. Oh, the power I should leave alone. The power is fine. It's the accuracy I have a problem with. Let's see what we got here. Playing on hardcore. I'll leave that alone. Alright, so we'll uh, see if this makes a difference. But uh, anyway, now let's have a look. So what, what did I predict? Three goals against average? And it is three. There you go. <laughs> it's still the great, but we're, we're trending in the right direction. Played three games, we got two wins. No shutouts yet. But uh, anyway, so we probably won't be playing the Stars, who are off to a really good start. 6-0 six, oh, six and 0-3. Oh, 
what I like to see. No, I didn't think it'd be starting. Well, you have to wonder if the Ducks keep losing, but if they keep winning with Handler in, in net, which they did lose, albeit in overtime. I have to wonder how long it'll be before the coaching staff decides let's give Handler some more starts. The team seems to do well when he's on the ice. Probably play one more game because these games take a. What's this? Yes, Nate Thompson is back. That's awesome. He's vital to the team. Oh, I'm actually playing this game. Away to the Avalanche. Well, uh, what other sort of options do we have? We've got the Mighty Ducks jerseys. I had them the last time. The old away ones. Nah. Oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> Stadium jersey's a nice one, but it's not, it's not a road jersey. Let's go a little throwback and sort of go with these ones since, uh, they're alternate. It's still that blue one, I, I would assume. Yeah. What else they got? Not much of a difference, really. What's their second home like? That's not a bad one, actually. Ooh, 80-81. It'll be, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Those are not Colorado jerseys, but uh, whatever. Let's go. Bring it! So we've got skill all star, we've changed with the settings. Hopefully it'll be a bit less goals in this game. It was more my teammates though, more than the uh the other team was fine. Maybe I should have left the skill thing alone and just put down the accuracy. Ah we'll see what happens. Good thing about streaming is I won't be rage quitting because <laughs> Yeah. So uh, whatever happens, happens. And that's what we're going with. Come on, I want to get into the game. I haven't played at Colorado yet. Pepsi Center. Should be nice. Oh, cool. Right downtown in the foothills of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado. Scene of NHL action featuring the team linked to those mountains, the Avalanche. Not much snow in that picture, but yeah. <laughs> I don't really blame them for that. Six and six. Right before game time here, it's an interesting sport in that sometimes your best players only wind up playing a third of the time. Jesus the Christ! How many times are going to recycle yeah, this one? The other two thirds, Doc, have to be important. Team game hockey—that's exactly what it's all about. But when you have star players, those are the guys that get the meat of the minutes, the most important minutes, in order to allow you to win hockey games. Perry's probably going to be one of those players on wow. the ice in those high-pressure situations. He told me before the game he really enjoys the challenge. Expect to see him in those crucial minutes. Point of game player so far this year. Let's okay, go. So let's look at the starting goal oh, ooh, Barra gets, a, a Barra gets goal his first start of the year. He is always acrobatic. We can expect more of that tonight for the Avalanche. He's the starter tonight as the season rolls on so many hours with the goalie coach, and it's worked for him and for the Ducks. Yes, it has. Save percentage is getting up there. Still not spectacular, but... The Ducks were telling us this morning that they feel they're on the cusp of breaking out of this poor game stretch that they've had. They've turned the puck over... Well, they they've always seem to break out of stretches when Handler is playing, so... Uh, enough, we'll see if they can play in the good start. A lot more Diagonally to Heatley. I'm assuming that was the save. Anyway, there's Danny Heatley. Fantastic so yeah, in the next episode, down. we'll probably go back to the Mighty Ducks jerseys, but I wanted to sort of... Oh, I've got a net in my goal. That's not good. I didn't want to sort of overdo them too much because they're like they're nice jerseys, but don't do them all the time. Anyway, all right, that helmet is in the is in the goal now. It's good. That would have been a problem. So we'll see if these more inaccurate shots change anything. I hope so, because I'm sort of all about the realism. I sort of like simulation, and uh, I don't really know what sort of to mess around with. So. Anything that's less gold is essentially simulation for me. Both teams are pulling out their uh, backups tonight, so... Bear is off to a good start. <laughs> My back a bit surprising. Got that pass up the same side of the ice. Anyway... Save again from Handler. It's just too good. It's just too good. I don't. Excuse me. I don't understand why why you don't believe this. I mean, he's just too good. You've seen 
You've seen the tape, right? <laughs> you have the scouting report. You have seen his heroics playing for whatever major junior slash college he played for. <laughs> He won between zero and all of his games in his one year playing for insert name of team here. <laughs> he won between zero and all of the championships available, and between zero and all of the player awards that a player can win. Damn! Yeah, not really much I can do there. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone butterfly, so that doesn't matter. That wasn't a mistake on our part, that was just a really good shot. From Briere. Damn you. <laughs> yeah. I think just in that situation, I just gotta stay, uh, stay stand up, standing up. Mind you, that was a perfect shot, and it had to be. Anyone wants to see any other sort of, uh, any other series going? Do a Another be a pro with like an, an actual skater or a be a GM or whatever. Let me do. Surprisingly, nobody has commented yet on that. I wonder why. Anyway. Of course, this whole exercise is just to get Dylan his, uh, his daily dose of Mighty Ducks. So, hopefully, that's, uh, hopefully that has been achieved. Come on now, Mighty Ducks. We gotta be mighty. We're down a goal. This is not where we want our existence to be, so... Uh, go get the... Ah, he had a shot there. Should have taken it. Ooh! Good save. Well, Anaheim, the Mighty Ducks haven't scored eight goals yet, so... Uh, <laughs> a lack of accuracy seems to be doing... Seems to be uh, doing the game a uh, good service. Retobera, straight up, fresh off a year with the Calgary Flames, I do believe. Signed as a backup to Varlama. Because of the whole uh, Jaguar retiring thing. Good save. Picks it up in his own end. Angled to Mitchell. Or the Ducks lost the Koivu and Temu Solani this offseason, so... If, uh, any regression, we can blame That's it on the loss of those two. You're in! Oh, Maroon! I believe it's Maroon. Damn you! Ugh. <laughs> uh, rubbish shots. See what Briere did? He picked a corner and he scored. Damn it! Couldn't get over quick enough. Oh, it's, speaking, of, speaking of Briere... Damn. Again, it's just a really good shot. Hanlick just couldn't get there in time. Yeah, it's just, again, it's just a really good shot. I mean, Hanlick could have been there maybe a step quicker, but... That's just a, it's just a good shot. Mm -hmm. a little over seven minutes Two goals and like five shots. Colorado's it's not good, Daniel. Trying to get your save percentage up, remember. Damn it all. <laughs> Bear is having himself a period. <laughs> God damn you, Redo. Seven to get a highlight. This is a really nice move. Beautiful pass, but the goaltender is right on top of the puck. Yeah, but I'd be very surprised if a shot like along the ice. I'm sort of looking for a rebound there more than anything else. Anyway. We're winning face offs at least, that's something. Although the game isn't played in the face off circle. Nah. Uh right, so this time we're gonna save it, Daniel. Jesus. <laughs> Wee. Now hold on. Let's give the fans a show. God's sake. Oh no, Heatley's injured. That is not good. Uh, got nothing. Got nothing. <laughs> Just about though. Yes! Save! There we go. That time I didn't sort of run off the post, it just left and save was made. 
these injuries are a result of this huge hit. What the f How did he get injured on that play? That doesn't matter. Nadler got himself back in the save category, so uh, hopefully we can get a run going here. Slid back across from one point to the other. I don't like this. <laughs> a lot of traffic in front. Damn! <laughs> I was afraid of that. <laughs> well, again, not much Daniel can do in that situation. I think we're feeling the heat of... Uh, Jerome McGinley? Ugh, too slow for this team. What happened there? Yeah, that... He passed it down low in the game. Yeah. That's sort of the only gripe I have about the B goalie so far, when it's sort of a pass is played on net. Like, you don't really control the save. Like, the goalie will just automatically sort of try and make a save if a shot is on. But because that pass goes towards the goal, he tries to make and save, which... Which means it essentially leaves the other team with an empty net because you can't really interrupt an animation with midway through. But this is something that the uh, CPU goalies don't struggle with, funnily enough. Because otherwise, Handler makes that save and he makes that save easily. Except he was already stuck in an animation. Unfortunately, going the complete opposite direction. So that's the only gripe I have so far. Hopefully we won't get too many instances of it happening. Oh, come on! Oh. Barra's had a really good period. Nah, that was an awful angle. Nah. Good save. Alright. We have a last minute saving to do. Go! Go, my friend! Shoot, 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 shoot! Damn it. Uh, it's not a great period. To be fair, there was nothing really about any of the three goals that was overtly Daniel's fault. Not those are the ones that really frustrate me. Marry me, Jerome. I don't think you want that. <laughs> Anyway, so how many is that? Three goals and eight shots. Yeah, not 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 terrific, but not really much we could have done. Whoa, whoa! Oh. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Anaheim's gonna have to mix and match here throughout this contest. They're down a forward, and it's one of their top ones. They'll have to plug the hole by committing. Well, yeah, Danny Healy's on the top line. I'll give you that. I don't know why he's on the top line. We're also missing Ryan Kessler as well. I completely forgot about that. We're missing quite a few players. If you count the two players that retired, we're missing Kessler for this game. Uh, it's not really going well. Anyway. So yeah, this is the period where we can get back in it. The Mighty Ducks with a mighty comeback. The might will be too much. Damn. <laughs> and Fowler needs to get back out of there. That's fine. Anyway, I hope if anyone is watching this that they're enjoying it. That a uh, goalie isn't too boring for you. It's different. That's pretty much its only advantage. It is quite fun to play, but uh, even then, it sort of has as its moments when you're not doing an awful lot. So I can only imagine it's probably not the greatest thing to watch. So hopefully, my commentary makes up for it. Good save, Daniel. Good save. Had to make that save too. That was that would have been game right there. Colorado to get the next goal. This game is over. Just a bit over four and they're still getting his feet wet in the NHL. He does only have three games after all. He's won two of them. Colorado's got another win. Ooh, I was completely expecting them to go the other side. I was lucky, missed. Because that would have been all me. Nothing Daniel could have done there. That would have been me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Keep it. Ah, damn. Oh, no. Good, good play. Damn it. <laughs> damn it all. <laughs> A 
Enzo, we've been on the receiving end of more than a few of these things. This is why you retire from the game. What a gorgeous Yeah, game. but Pat Maroon really can't retire now. He's, he's young enough. <laughs> Not really an option. Although he does look like he wishes he could right now. Anywho. Good face -off win. Well, let's hope the Mighty Ducks can get back into this with a mighty goal. Mighty save from Barra. Damn it. <laughs> and now my back hurts. Why, God, why? Fate is such a cruel mistress. God damn you. Good save, though. But I like this. It's a bit more low scoring, so this is sort of what we were looking for. team defensively hasn't helped them out very much. But he's turned aside almost everything. On a slightly re on a related note, back to the real world, Avalanche could be drew, drew for regression this year. According to everyone who believes in uh, those advanced statistics, which I really don't <laughs> listen to. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Daniel, this this game's not happening. <laughs> It's Talbot time. Not, not, yeah. I wouldn't mind if it was something good, but. <laughs> right in front. Come on, defense. I'm looking at you, Fowler. There's nothing you can do there. <laughs> I'm wondering, can, our, can, uh, can the B Pro goalie be subbed in this game? I don't know. It's never happened before, but. The abs keep pulling away. They've got a four goal yeah. Now. Well, this game is a wash as far as a win and as far as statistics go, so I think all we can do is just play as... Yeah, that was kind of I was wondering. All we can do is just play as well as we can, just try and keep out as many out as possible. Damn it. <laughs> I never make it to the bench in time. Yeah, I do think that was... Oh, Nathan. Go to the box, Nathan. Slash, yeah. You slide your body, a bit of a little bit of a delayed reaction, but uh, you're going to the box. did McKinnon get his face scanned into the game? The go on the power play for the first time. I mean, we need it <laughs> desperately. This, we need a power play goal here. That was that was awful. Right, so we're gonna go down and yeah, this will make it. Yep. Ander with his excellent puck handling skills. Now that we've sort of gotten used to it. And he pushes it on through mid ice. Ah. The key with pu uh, the key with puck handling as a goalie is to not try and overdo it. Just sort of come out, stop the puck, and just sort of lay it off for your guy. Because uh, oh, we're winning faceoffs. <laughs> not going to win us the game, but it is going to win us some pride and some brownie points with our faceoff coach. Yes. Tipped. A great tip too. That shot was going wide. Is it Edom? Back in the game. It was Emerson Edom. Nice job. Yeah, sort of, yeah nothing Barrett could do there because that shot's going quite a ways wide. And so that's an excellent shot, but from my angle, you can see the puck change direction dramatically. The goaltender just can't. Of course you can. The shot was going wide. It ends up in the net. It has to change direction somehow. He <laughs> just doesn't look happy. Emerson Edom gets presumably his second of the year. I don't know. <laughs> He's only playing a handful of the games. Offside, of course. <laughs> That's what we need when we're trying to get back into the game. I think the fans would be happier. He's a home team fan. Come on. The fans are so much better in this game. I think they still need a bit of work. They sort of just tend to sit there quietly most of the game unless like a goal happens or something. I'm sort of nitpicking. Like, they are, for the most part, pretty damn great. But, uh, some improvements for next year can certainly be made. Anyway, speaking of improvements, I'm gonna save this. <laughs> or almost, uh, 